Coverage moves now to CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates. She's live in Miami, and Bo Beth, we're learning some local search and rescue teams are about to be deployed to help. That's right, Lauren and Elliot. I'm here with the about 80 task force members of Task Force 2 as they pack up and get ready to leave. And they're telling me they're taking everything that it requires to be self-sufficient for about two weeks. And if you follow me over here, you can see just a little of what that includes. Of course, their personal items, food, water, all-terrain vehicles, boats, and even to help them maneuver through the high waters and flooded waters areas. And they have a secret weapon. If you follow me right over here, let me show you to that secret weapon, this high water rise truck. Now, officials were telling me this truck was specially made by them. As you can see, it's been raised about 10 to 12 inches, so it can pretty much maneuver through anything. And they tell me they added these seats in the back so they can rescue up to eight to 10 people at a time. And Assistant Fire Chief Scott Dean says the group and all of their equipment are heading out within the hour and they hope to be in place before the storm arises so that they can just get everything they need done before. They're putting us in a location that it's safe, but as soon as it's, uh, the storm is passing, they're putting us right behind us so that we can go straight into operations and start helping anybody that's in those flood zones or in those areas that where their houses have been destroyed, where we can get in and get them out as quickly as possible. Now, one thing that's uh, important to note that this storm is actually coming on the anniversary of Katrina. As you know, Katrina hit that same area in the Gulf. And a lot of the members from this task team, uh, task force team that is being deployed, also was deployed back in Katrina. So they say this is bittersweet for them. And they're hopefully, uh, they said they're preparing for the worst, but are really praying for the best case scenario that their services will not be needed. But of course, we'll continue to follow them as they're up there trying to get help. And we'll bring you those details as we get. Live in Miami, Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News.